as you've heard, welcome back to Sonic Origins. Today, we are finishing off the mission mode segment of the game. We've gotten Sonic 1, CD, and Sonic 2 completed with all the S ranks. And now it's time for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. We have the same amount of challenges to do. All of them need to be S rank completed. So we're gonna start with the one star and make our way up. And the first one is Time the Battle Batbot. Death Egg Zone, Act 1, defeat 10 Batbot within a minute and 30 seconds. Let's get to it. Okay, so this should be pretty fun, I would hope. Of course, Sonic 3 was a bit challenging at times. We just gotta destroy these bat bots whenever they pop up. Oh, they do sort of run for me, don't they? Uh, but we gotta do it in 30 seconds if we want the S rank. So doing things like that is gonna be pretty important. Wait a minute, I missed you. Oh no, oh, and they're gone. So we're gonna lead them, but we can maybe uh, get a couple more like that. And then I gotta fall, I think. Oh, that one bat bot's back. There we go. Okay, so once I destroy them all, it just ends. And we were able to do it in 26 seconds. That sound effect is uh, very grating. So we're gonna get out of here. But there we go, the first challenge done very quickly. Sandy Swim in Sandopolis Zone Act 1. Get 20 rings from the sand. Okay, so let's see how this works. Oh yeah, because I can jump through it like that. And you can just barely make out the rings in most of these, so. I'll definitely have to be careful about it. Oh, but I missed a bunch there. That's gonna really eat into our time. But we're already up to 16. Oh, come on. Ready, one more? That's it. So do we just need to reach the end now? There's the end. Okay, so so far these one star challenges are really starting to feel like one star challenges. Um, with that done, we can move over to the final one star challenge, Knuckles' climbing challenge in Ice Cap Zone Act 2. Dodge enemy attacks and scale the wall to reach the goal within one minute. I feel like the Knuckles ones I usually struggle with, but we need to do this one in just a mere 20 seconds. If we want to, oh gosh, that's a little scary. Ah, I didn't even see you up there. Oh, okay, so it looks like I'm actually on a little ice thing. That thing blends in very well. Uh, There we go. Come on, almost there. I did it with the perfect amount of time. All right, then exactly the 20 seconds we need for the S rank. So it shows you there's a lot of wiggle room there to get that S rank. Not too bad. Next up though, we have Ring Vacuum in Marble Garden Zone Act 1. Use X with the Thunder Shield to double jump your way to the goal with 25 rings. I'll do my best. So yep, we need this thing, we need to double jump like that, which is a pretty useful little move. And of course this thing has sort of ring gravity, so even though you're not you know, super close to it, you can still get them. And they're sort of hidden throughout the area, so gotta jump around like that. Oh gosh, ooh, I got you though. The enemies are of course gonna try to ruin our fun a little bit. Oh no, we have the rings we need, so if we could just end this level, that'd be a good idea. Oh no, oh no, can I make my way up there? I don't know if I can. There we go, much better, much better. And there it is, we did it! Ooh, that was a close one too, only two seconds to spare. But so far, we are ripping through these really quick. But hey, it's all about what we have next, so let's skip through this one and check out the next one, Animal Rescue. Sky Sanctuary Zone, catch 10 capsules within one minute and 25 seconds. Okay, so capsules. Well, there's one of them. I might have jumped too soon for that one. Oh, but the cloud helped me make it work. There we go. I didn't even really notice the cloud. There we go. Um, I'm guessing more of them are just gonna be descending. Oh no, I missed it. Uh, I think at some point it might just be better to fall down start hitting them, because they're at five out of 10. It's just, you never really know until you try, is this gonna be one of the missions where you have to end the level after you get all the things, or is it just done after you get all the things? It looks like for this one, as long as I can hit this, come on, one more time, there it is, and there's the end of the level. So, I think we're good, mission clear, and we got the S rank. Yeah, we had six seconds of spare on that one, so we're doing pretty good. Next one is a Tails Balloon Burst Lava Reef Zone Act 2. Pop 10 balloons within two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so, whoa, whoa, okay, I got a little too fast there. A little too fast to say the least. Um, oh, but they give me a huge speed boost. Okay, that's why. Uh, I know Tails is getting a little tired here. I don't blame you, buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna bop off of that. Ooh, that was good, that was good. Just two more, and I, I see the two that we need. So, if I could just turn off the flying for a second, that'd be great. Uh, Because I saw it was right about there. Okay, come on, boom, we did it. So, that should be the end of it. 
and we get yet another S rank. We are seriously doing so well. Next up, Mercy. Launch base zone, act one. Reach the goal without touching any enemies. Seems like every game has a Mercy mission, which is interesting. Uh, I almost hit that enemy because I totally forgot <laughs> at that moment. See, so yeah, we just can't let any of the enemies hit us. We can't hit any of them. The problem is, you know, they can sneak up on you and then before you know it, whoa, we just barely went through all that. Before you know it, the mission is over. Okay, so I need to hit that because that doesn't count as an enemy, luckily. I feel like we're most of the way through. We have to be. Come on, go, 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 go. And there it is. Yeah, we, we zipped through that one super duper easily. So, so far the Sonic 3 challenges aren't proving to be all that bad. I mean, Sonic 2, I feel like has the most challenging ones so far, but now we're into Ring Vacuum 2 in Carnival Night Zone Act 2. Choose your favorite shield and reach the goal. Okay, my favorite one is typically the, uh, the lightning one. We just gotta reach the goal, so. Oh no, wait, does it? Okay, it's still here, it's still here. I just gotta knock it hit or squished or any of the variety, and I got squished. Great. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um, so there's our first sort of like fail. Maybe I'll try the bubble one because, you know, it, it's here. There we go. Oh, that's cool. It actually blocked off all those attacks. Okay, just hop down here and just go, go, go. That was pretty good. Where do I go from here? I can maybe get up here, but it, it didn't really work. I'm not really sure. How do I get this thing? I'm burning a lot of time here. I might be able to, yeah, just go up like that, grab one of those, because this lets me dash forward real cool. And the flame doesn't hurt me there, so I guess maybe choosing different power-ups at different times might be a good idea. We're just gonna keep with this one, I guess. Um, There we go. I think it would have been better for the lightning, yeah, because we would have gotten a double jump. All right, whoa, that's not what I wanted at all. Oh, we're sort of stuck in this. That's weird. There we go. Um, I'm just gonna bounce up like this then, if I can. Come on, and there's the end of it. All right, we had a couple of seconds to spare there, so we've been making some decent amount of mistakes and still getting S ranks. I feel like it's very lenient this time. Conveyor belt challenge in Hydrocity, uh, Hydro City Zone, Act One. Get at least 50 rings while dodging spikes. Okay, so don't hit spikes, gotta, Get all these rings as well. Okay, I missed one, not a big deal. You can you can miss a couple. But if that happens, then it's no good. So that's a shame. Um, I'll try going this way for now. Yeah, we gotta grab onto these a little bit. Come on, come on. I'm not doing the best of jobs getting all these. Don't you dare. There we go, I got you, I got you. What else do we got up here? Oh no, more enemies trying to make this difficult for me. But. Ah, uh, wait, there we go, there we go, there we go. And then from here, if I can just grab this group. Oh no, I missed one, I missed, no, come on. I think we just gotta restart from there. That was baloney, jeez. Okay, so try this. And then, yeah, if we, if we miss a couple, not the end of the world, we're just gonna shimmy across, get rid of you if possible. There we go, much better. I'm gonna grab these because we can get up to 50 pretty easily at this point. If we just casually get get these as we're making our way up, I think that'd be enough. Yeah, there we go, because we get that grouping. Got the enemies trying to chase me. I just want to make my way away from them. Because look at all this. And there we go, boom. Much easier if I got the time, but as you can see, I only got 32 seconds. So I need to try that again, but just a little bit faster this time. I think that's pretty doable if I don't get caught up on the silly stuff because it, it definitely proved there that you don't need to get every ring to get everything. You know, you just need to make your way across as much as you can. And you probably will just end up grabbing everything along the way. Okay, so I tried to hit you, didn't quite work. See, I'm already at 50. So whichever way I can speed across the fastest, and that was that, with still four seconds to spare. Much better. So no retrying with that one. We are gonna move to the next level, the Fireball Dash. In Mushroom Hill Zone Act 1, defeat five of the Butter Droid and Cluckoid with Fireball Spin Dash, jump with the Flame Shield and press X. Let's go for it. Okay, so, very interesting enemies here. We have to dash through them like that. And we can do two for ones, that was cool. Just like that, oh no. Um, I think I'm supposed to get up, go up here, gotcha. I've got a good chunk of them, but 
I need to defeat more of them. There we go. I'm up here now. I feel like, I, yeah, I've definitely missed some. I need to backtrack. Got him! Oh, that was good. That was really good. So we're at five out of five for one of them. So if we could just destroy you, that would've been perfect. Oh no! Wait, wait, come down here, come down here. Yeah, perfect. Gotcha! And that's just gonna be the end of the level. We don't have to reach anything. Very cool! And we also got the Sonic 3 and Knuckles Mission Master. That's what we like to see. No retrying here. If we got the S rank, we got the S rank. Let's try timed battle Rhino Bot. Angel Island Zone Act 1, defeat 15 Rhino Bots within three minutes. Okay, I think that'd be fine, right? These enemies might be a little bit more difficult though. I don't know where they are at the moment. Doesn't seem like there's any around here. Uh, here's one of them. So the hard thing about these guys, as you can see, uh, is they, they have a spiked front, so you probably don't want to run into them like that. There's a lot of them around. Oh, you're kidding me. Come on. Run and jump. Ah, uh, gotcha. See, I guess just sort of searching them all out is the tough part, but we, we have a minute and 30 seconds to do it all, so hopefully I can build some kind of momentum here. Oh, ready? Gotcha. Then I want to get, ow, I guess over here. Oh, that was a bunch of them. But there's gotta be more, and there is. Gotcha. Okay, so I see you over here. We still need to find five more. That is another one, but geez, this is, I think there's only exactly the amount you need. Okay, what about down this way? I feel like, yeah, we're back to the beginning again, aren't we? Maybe not, maybe not. Oh, come on, let me back up there. I might not get this uh, the S rank this first try, but I just sort of need to figure out the strategy. Um, Where'd you go? How'd you get way over here? I don't know. And then if we can find one more somewhere, yeah, now we're back at the beginning. So I think there was a better path through this because I missed one. And it looks like there's only exactly 15 of them. Ow. Okay, so we're down to an A rank now, but that's with making some major blunders in this one. There he is. So I'll grab you, we'll finish this level, and then we'll just retry really quickly. I think I can get it this second try. It just sort of figuring out what we want to do. And now I know. I can go through all of that. Oh, you get back here. Where'd you go? See, sometimes they'll storm off like that and it feels like they just never come back. They do though. What about down here? Nobody waiting for me down on this side. I bounce off of you. Uh, jump over, gotcha. Already making better time than last time. Oh, get out of here. They are tricky to hit sometimes though, I tell you what. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha. The double, pretty good. But now we're at the end of here, so maybe that's not the most productive way to do it, is to go through the bottom one. I think we are supposed to loop around from the top. But that's okay, I can go back now. And I think we would still overall save time here. We still have over 30 seconds just to get up this way. Oh, and mess up that jump. That's a tricky one. Come on, try that again. Ah, oh, you are kidding me. That is not gonna be helpful. So I'll try this one more time. Ready? If I don't make it this time, I think I'm just gonna reset so that we can. There we go, there we go. Gotcha, up to here now. That's not what I wanted at all. Uh, see, sometimes I'll try to go faster. I end up just going much, much slower. And then, gotcha. But only 10 seconds left to get the remaining group of them. I just don't think that's gonna happen. Come on, I'm trying to go through with it, but this is the guy I missed last time, so. If I take the right path this time, go the upper path and then loop around, I should be fine. All right, I have one more left. There it is. Okay, so yeah, I was right. We have to take the upper path and then sort of just loop around the whole level. And that's how we get it done. The S rank is ours and that means there's only a few more left, right? We're coming up on the end of it. We're, we're more than halfway through. We have the water shield challenge next, which is launch based on act two. Use X with a water shield and bounce your way to the goal without taking a breath. Let's go for it. So, I don't know how exactly this one works out then, because I don't know if there'll even be any air bubbles to get, but I'll just try to zoom my way through this as fast as I can. I can't damage him like that. Okay, good to know. Um, but I do get another one right there. So, what I need to do now, right, is I need to get up this way. Oh, that was a good move, but it didn't, I wasn't able to capitalize on it. Right here, I need to do that. Go back down here. Okay, good stuff. Sort of, there we go, I didn't get hit, so it, it's definitely good. Oh man, 
I don't know. That was a little bit of a silly move, but we're okay. Maybe. I'm sure we're gonna start running out of breath soon, but never mind, the level's over. Okay. That was actually surprisingly easy. All right, so I'm not gonna do that one again. Of course, since we got the S rank, let's try another four star mission Eggman Spike Attack, Mushroom Hill Zone Act 2. Defeat Dr. Eggman and reach the goal on a stage with hazards galore. Oh boy. So, this might prove to be difficult. I need to <laughs> not get hit like that too much, but it looks like I can maybe get two hits in before I'm in trouble. Ah, oh, yeah, I don't think I want to push any more than two hits. I know it might seem silly to just go in there and do the same thing over and over, but I just want to try to find out exactly what I can get away with because if this is like any of the other Eggman fights, I need to, yeah, make the most out of every single hit. So I got some rings, not all of them, unfortunately. I think this will be easier than when we did it with Knuckles, right? I mean, it's technically the first boss, right, of Sonic and Knuckles. Oh boy, can we get back to running? I sure hope so. Got it. I need to duck under that one and then jump. Jump again, duck, and then try to get him right up here. There you go, there you go. That wasn't too bad. And yeah, I guess there's a lot more obstacles. This doesn't feel like it's all that much more though. Come on, I just need one more, we got him. Okay, that counts, and that was exactly 40 seconds. So I could not afford to do that any later. That was great. I mean, hey, I'll gladly take it. So getting those first two hits at the beginning, really a big difference maker. <laughs> so next up, whoa, we have Critical Cargo, Angel Island Zone Act Two. We have to defeat 10 enemies. Sure, let's go for it. Oh, I love this. It's so you know sad that the whole place is on fire, but visually it looks so neat and cool. So we just have to defeat a bunch of enemies. We don't have to worry about actually fighting the ship itself. All right, so how do I... How, what's the best way to go about that? Because I've already missed out on two of them. I guess just to stay on to the left as much as possible. Yeah, just like that. Ah, oh, but I keep missing the rhinos. Okay, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. There we go, much better, much better. Okay, it doesn't have to be a specific amount of either of them, it just has to be enemies in general. Um, so far, not doing too bad, but uh, is that all you got? Oh, so another one shows up. I get it then. So we really need to be on the left side and just defeat all of them as much as we can. Let's get a couple of rings there, but just stay on the left. We really don't even want to go quickly here, I don't think. Like, I'm not even pressing anything at the moment. I'm just sort of letting the game take me. And that seems to work just fine. Okay, yeah, that doesn't even hit me. It's easy so far. All I'm doing is literally pressing down. Oh, I missed that one enemy. So that might be a problem, we'll see. And that one didn't count? Are you sure? Ah, uh, okay, so at some point, once the ship starts getting farther to the right, I need to walk around, but at first, I don't need to press anything but down, so let's try that again. Okay, things are turning out pretty well here. I just need one more enemy. There it is. Okay, so I got everything I needed there. So do we just race to the end at this point? I think so. Yeah, there we go. So we got that S rank, not too bad. So we'll exit out of that one, and we'll see. We have a couple more S ranks waiting for us in the five star challenges. We have Speedy Swim in Hydro City Zone Act Two, Hydro City Mirror Zone Mode. Reach the goal as the walls close in. So it's mirrored and the walls are closing in. That's a little stressful. Um, and I've already uh, messed it up. <laughs> Whoops. Now what I needed. And we also need to earn rings to actually get our our thing. Okay, good to know. Whoa. So I can get way up there a lot more than you think. There we go. And then I need to go, go, go. Got it. What? Oh, I need to spin dash. Gotcha. That is really tough. Okay, so what if I did that and then I, ooh. Oh no, ah, oh, geez. The controls are slippery, of course, because that's just sort of how the game controls, but it could be tough. So I think I really want to land there. Hop out like this, and then again, and then, oh, that was close. That was really close. We gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. Um. I can't get that ring, I can't get anything there. Jeez, that is tough. That is just, how do you get through that time? I'm not quite sure, because I can't really make it up there very easily. Uh, if I do that, and then I just go, come on. Sometimes spin dashing doesn't work. I swear, it just does not work. Okay, so, because you can't, if you could, that'd be game changing, but you can't. Get up that way like that, so. There's gotta be a better way to go about that, right? I, I would think. 
There we go. That time it worked, but unfortunately, no ring for me. Uh, I'm not gonna grab that one. I don't know how you'd even get to it, but geez, that is so tough. This is brutal so far, and we're only getting started. Okay, I've made it up here this time. It's a little scary because, okay, wow, the wall actually stopped and I only got B rank ring. So I need to get to every single ring there. That is really tough. That is really tough. And I noticed that if I rev up even more, I can actually make it up there without too much of a problem. It's everywhere else where things become a struggle. This ring in particular, yeah, is a little tough to grab, but we got it. And then if I can grab these two, and then, uh, whenever I'm getting pushed against the wall, I don't think the spin dash works, or at least it doesn't work super normally, but that was an S rank amount of rings right there. So if I could have just ended the level, I think it would have been fine. So we're gonna try that again, we're gonna rub up. Nope, almost. So one, two, three, four. There we go, right? Maybe, nope. <laughs> it worked the first time. That was much better. Okay, actually gotta grab the ring now. Doesn't help me very much if I just go right next to it. And that's where things might not work out. Okay, gonna try it and I get squished. So I need everything to line up perfectly. We got it that one time. But now I actually have to execute it and complete the level. So let's try it. Okay, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right, will I get squished? No, I won't! Okay, we did it! That was by far the hardest one we've seen so far today. Jeez, but we finally got through it. And next up, we have Extreme. Fireball Dash, launch base zone act two, press X during a jump with the flame shield equipped to do a fireball spin dash, defeat seven enemies within one minute and 30 seconds. Okay, so we have this thing right here. And whenever any enemies are showing up, like these guys, we can just dash right through them. I need to get rid of seven of the the birds. Oh no, it stopped working. Uh, I guess it might get stopped once I land in the water. So that is something to keep in mind. Ah oh, darn, okay, let's try that again. Uh, Cause it started off pretty well. Cause I can dash through some of those guys. Dash through again, and then one more, but it's a little awkward that they're lining up. Okay, I got just one there. If we land in the water, that sort of ruins it. So I just need to find the perfect path through and maybe it's not worth focusing on too much. What happened there? I, I hit them, but it didn't count. I'm a little confused by that. Uh, one more time, one more time. I feel like each time I try, it gets a little bit worse, but we're just gonna try that. That's already five of them. I could get a sixth one right there. See, why doesn't that work? I thought the flame dash was supposed to be sort of all powerful in that way, but I guess not. Um, Cause I can destroy some enemies like that, but that doesn't count. So I might just have to find a way to actually get the frog enemies. That works. So we just can't hit the little wrecking balls. Cause if not, it's just a guaranteed hit on us. Darn, that stinks. Okay, so here's the flame. We gotta wait for their thing to drop. Got it. But then I land in the water and guess where it goes? It goes away. Uh, maybe I could get up here then. I, I didn't need to do that. So how would I get over here with the flame? I wouldn't, I'd have to. The only problem with this is I think that there is a limited number of enemies to get. I think we've gotten most of them. And it looks like these respawn. Oh, so enemies do respawn. Okay, that's good. So we've gotten all we need of those, but at this point we're way behind S rank. That is going to be really tough. No matter how we splice this, this is gonna be really challenging. So I got through that one pretty well. Now I wanna hop up here and then actually, let's get rid of you first, I guess. There we go, there we go, much better. Cause I don't have to be crazy fast. That didn't count, darn. Uh, just need to be fast enough. Oh no, wait, wait. Okay, that worked, that worked. That, not so much, but that's okay. Uh, I'll just hit that, wait for that. We just need to destroy three more of them, which I think is actually what we can find right over here. Okay, so I see how we would get an S rank with this, maybe. Hmm. Ah, dude, come on. That is the worst. 
I feel like we're close to it, but we're not quite there. I think it would be pretty important to try to get rid of all of them. Maybe not, but okay. Maybe just better to keep moving too. Might not be worth it to over focus on some other stuff, but getting here with the flame would probably be very helpful because without this time zap, it's hard to actually reach that. Okay, ah, oh, come on. So unfortunately, I won't make it in time, but I found the right path through everything. Because what we do is we just get over here, and this is always the toughest one. Because I need to, ah, time those two. But if I can get through those guys and that last bird, that's everything. So very difficult to do because I have to hit that guy on the very top too, but let's see if I can maybe do that there. And then if I could yeah, get through you, I lost that, which is a huge problem, but if I can just do everything after that, this one is ridiculous, as you can see, but we're getting there, sort of. There we go, there's those three. Ah, wait, grab that. No, come on, I was trying to jump. Sonic, please work with me here. You know what I'm trying to do, right? There we go. Oh, we actually did, no, that counted, that counted, okay. And then if we wait for that, go through go through you, if, if I can, if it's possible. There we go. And this is a little, you know, nerve wracking waiting for that, but we can do it. Now I have to get back on those platforms. Up off of this shirt, works for me. I might wait this one out for a second, because we have the time, at least for now. There we go. And then I need to, ooh, it's very scary, because yeah, that can happen. Because now I'm starting to run out of time a little bit, but we need to jump up there. I always try to make that jump, and I never make it, so maybe not the best idea. And it's all about this one. Got it, and then, no, come on, I needed that! Ah, <laughs> that is the worst, but you can see how close we are to getting it done. If I could do that one more time, we're good. Okay, I just need to hit the bird. Just need to hit the bird. There it is. Oh my goodness, that one took many, many tries. But we got through it. Jeez, you just gotta do everything just right. But what more is left? I think there's only two more remaining. Extreme Knuckles Climbing Challenge and Death Egg Zone Act 2. Dodge enemy attacks and scale the wall to reach the goal within one minute. The Knuckles ones are always ridiculous, so we'll see how this goes. Um, because I don't really quite know what I'm supposed to do here already. Because uh, our goal is just to reach the end quickly then, right? Okay. We sort of got a good start there with that guy. Then what do we do from there? I guess go up here. Maybe. Uh, I think I need to bounce off of them like I did with this guy. Yeah, like that but that might prove to be a little bit difficult, especially, I guess, if I don't hit them perfectly on the top, I just sort of go through them. It's weird that we don't have any kind of guidance rings for this one. There we go. Okay, so I gotta figure it out, at least in some way. How do I get through? Oh, uh, not like that, <laughs> not like that. Okay, with this one, I can just climb past. I don't need to overcomplicate it. I'm actually standing on top of it right now, which, okay, I, I don't exactly know. Maybe I could just stand on top of those. I'm not really sure. Uh, there's definitely some, some learning to, to be done here. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. I have no rings left though, so this is getting a little scary. But, ah, darn, I almost made it up to something. It's so hard to tell if I'm doing anything right here or not, or if I'm just running my own way through at the moment. But my current strategy, oh my gosh, that one spring is so tricky to get on top of, but current strategy is to do something like that, jump up here, and then, ah, jump off of you. It's hard to replicate. Most of the time, it doesn't work out at all. Okay, whoa, whoa, did we make it? We did? That was wild right at the end. So you really gotta get on the very top of them and then press the glide button right before you hit the top of the enemy to get that big sort of hype boost out of it. 
And then the final challenge in the entire game, Extreme Tails Balloon Burst, Flying Battery Zone Act 1 that popped 20 balloons within one minute and 30 seconds as Tails. So let's hope this one works out. I think the challenge for this one is actually just finding all the balloons. Because there's 20 of them in total. I gotta find them all. So let's go for it, Tails. I see this one. And we are running out of flight energy even with the balloons. So it is just something to be really careful of. Oh no, oh no. Oh, so getting hit, there's no way to sa save yourself from that. If there's nothing to land on, you're gonna fall to your doom. So that's another thing to be careful of. Oh no, come on, hit that one. Keep it going. Yep, bounce off with that, that's exactly what I wanted. And it's easy to miss that one, so I gotta keep that in mind. And land on that platform. Oh no, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Ooh. This is the farthest we've made it so far. Next balloon's right over here. It's gonna launch us up there. We got a combo going on. I think I might wanna land here because I'm sure Tails is getting a little tired. Oh no. Oh no. We're fine, we're fine. We got it, we got it. No, we don't got it, we do got it. Um Maybe I uh, I was gonna say grab one ring if I could have managed. That would have been helpful, but that was farther than last time. Twelve balloons. Oh no, oh no, come on. We're at 14 balloons. We're doing pretty good. I need to hit this one and not get hit. Ooh, that was very lucky. Um, oh no, come on, Tails. Let's go back over here. I think it'll be right there. Ooh, that was perfect. We're at 17 out of 20, but we're down to an A rank. Are you kidding me? How would we have had the time to do all that? I don't know, that feels ridiculous. Okay, so I was able to do it with an A rank and that has been taking me a ton of time. This thing is amazingly difficult. This might really be the most challenging challenge. <laughs> well, you know, they saved it for the last one, but it's just, there's so many things you need to do just right. Like you need to jump off that platform and get back to flying as soon as you can. Hitting any of those flame things will be an instant just sort of game over. For this first section, I think you just need to hold to the right. You don't even need to press jump or anything and you hit everything just fine, but it's everything after that that gets a lot more difficult, you know? Um, so I've been trying my best to sort of learn the route and do what I can about it, but geez, is it tough. Uh, so we're just going to hit that one and then maybe this one and then go back. The hard part is that it takes tail so long to recover from things. And if you don't, you know, go back to flying right at the right spot when you jump, you do dip down a huge ton, which does not help. Okay, this could be it. I just need to hop down here, hit that one, and go! Oh my goodness! I'll probably include all that one take just because it was so involved, every single movement counts for that one. And because of that, it is definitely the hardest challenge I think we've encountered in this game. And that is a say because we've completed all of them, 100% in Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic CD, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and Knuckles, and all of them S rank. That is crazy. I would spend some of the 791 coins we've earned up through doing all that, but I don't really know if there's really anything more we can buy. There was more museum content unlocked, but none of it purchasable, as far as I can tell, with coins. So yeah, we've done it. I can't believe it. We've made our way through all those challenges. And there's nothing more left to buy with our coins. So I guess these are 800 coins, they just sort of sit around, which is a little bit weird when you think about it. But we unlocked something, it was probably some illustrations, and I think there's more of those to unlock by just doing little challenges and stuff. And when it comes to what else there is in the game, there is still a little bit more. Next episode, I wanna tackle the boss rushes for each game. I think we'll be able to do all of them in one episode. And then afterwards, we have things like the Blue Sphere, and we wanted to replay through some of the games as different characters, such as like Sonic 1 as Knuckles, or Sonic 2 as Tails. We can definitely do those too. So there's still a little bit more left to experience, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Sonic Origins. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.